Alright guys, so it seems like we've been waiting for this news for a very long time, but the Model Y is finally getting hardware 4. I can't say how extremely excited I am for you guys as well as myself because the upcoming Model 3s and Model Ys are likely going to be arriving with hardware 4 in the next couple weeks if not already now. Now I know the main reason you guys probably follow this channel and subscribe to it is that you guys want the latest update on the Model Ys, Model 3s and the rest of the lineup with the hardware 4 as well as additional updates on the rest of the lineups as well so make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that I can keep you guys up to date as soon as I have information available but anyways let's jump on into the juicy stuff here and that is that the Model Y finally has hardware 4. A follower by the name of Ronald Reynolds reached out to me and don't confuse it for Ryan Reynolds because I'm sure he owns a Tesla as well but here Ronald sent me in some information about his upcoming delivery of the Model Y. Why. He had a conversation with the sales advisor after noticing something especially different inside of his Tesla mobile app and I'll get more into that in a few seconds here. But it seems through his conversation with Tesla's sales advisor after getting his delivery confirmation was that hardware 4 is going to be coming to his vehicle specifically. Now I don't know how credible this is because we're not speaking directly to the sales advisor or any of the engineering teams at Tesla but from what we're getting at this conversation here is that Ronald messaged them asking them if if there was any updates on the upcoming hardware for his vehicle. Now here's the one thing that made me question a little bit more than I should have had. That was that the message that was sent from the sales advisors to Ronald was a little bit confusing and it seemed like the information was not correct. He was correlating the auto park with full self-driving and hardware 4 and that doesn't make sense in my eyes but he could be just mistaken for buying the full self-driving suite and that being included with the auto park feature. But anyways the gist of it is that the auto park feature is going to be disabled. Now in my personal experience here dealing with Tesla sales advisors, it has been pretty horrible. The information that they've relayed back to us has always been incorrect. I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with that before, but going inside of a Tesla showroom, speaking to one of the advisors, you'll notice that they have little to no knowledge with what's going on on the engineering team. And on top of that, they seem to be even delayed in information compared to what you're able to just simply search up on Google. An example is if you hopped inside of a sales room right now and you ask them about the current FSD beta build, they'd have no idea and they'll probably just refer back to the FSD suite that you and I can just pick up with Navigate on autopilot. So yeah, I don't blame Ronald at all for trusting sales advisors because really who wouldn't trust somebody directly from Tesla? But in the case of advisors there, I'd say take what they say with a grain of salt. So with keeping all that in mind, I asked Robert to reach out to the sales advisor again or reached out to a secondary sales advisor to make sure what the first guy said was correct and he wasn't just making things up. Now during that period while Ronald was reaching out to another sales advisor, a lot of people were commenting and asking me when their new Model Y was going to include the new hardware. This was literally right after I retweeted Ronald's tweet and a lot of people were interested because they were taking delivery of their vehicle in the coming weeks. Now a day or so has passed and we really haven't heard anything from Ronald so of course I reached out to Ronald again just to get an update and what we got back was extremely interesting. Not only did Ronald get confirmation from the Tesla chat but he also got confirmation from the Tesla mobile app itself. The Tesla app notified him that there was an upcoming hardware change and the overall design was going to be different meaning that he has to acknowledge the different design before he proceeds with the order. So if I can recall back in the day when Tesla was switching the standard range vehicle to the new LFP battery they did the exact same thing and they notified the customer before they took delivery of their car. The same process was taken. There was an acknowledgement that had to be pressed and confirmed and then that was the end of that. So from what we got so far as of right now, I think we are ready for the hardware 4 to be seen inside of the Model Ys and that means that the Model 3 is not far behind. If you guys do have a delivery coming up in the next few weeks, make sure you call your sales advisor to get some kind of confirmation of what's going on with the new hardware as well at the same time keep checking back out at your Tesla mobile app and seeing if there is any acknowledgement that you have to click before you take confirmation and delivery of your vehicle. So I don't know how else to put it that we are going to be getting the Model Y hardware 4 changes in the upcoming vehicles. Now if you guys don't trust me doesn't really matter but you guys can head over to my Twitter and check out the updates from Ronald himself. I'm sure he's gonna have a lot more information than I will so if 
there is anything that comes up or anything he's willing to share with us or myself, I will give you guys an update there as well. I do really appreciate Ronald for sharing all this information with us. And if there is anything else you guys want to know, let me know in the comments below. I'll keep you guys updated as much as possible with the new Project Highlands, Juniper, and any of the future updates with Tesla in general. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Once again, this is John. Peace out.